you look at our running back. Earl Campbell set the tone. Then you got Eddie George. Then you got Chris Johnson. Then you got Derrick Henry. Those are our, our pillars. As usual, Keith Bullock is right. But let's take it a step further. Can you name another NFL franchise that has four running backs as accomplished as these four? A lot of NFL teams can claim two or maybe three, but four? Can any team match the Tyler Rose? 2-7, CJ2K, and of course, the King. The franchise had good backs before Earl Campbell, but Campbell's first four years in the league were like nothing since Jim Brown. From 1978 through 1981, Campbell averaged over 100 yards rushing per game, 4.6 yards per carry, and scored 55 touchdowns. Beast. I think it's Earl. I think it's the sheer raw power. And he played like a linebacker. He played the running back position a line, like a linebacker. You could feel his tape. You can watch it, but feel it internally. You, you had a, a physical reaction when you watched Earl Campbell, whether it was, ooh, the cringeworthy. It was the pain that you could feel that he was inflicting on people. So um, that's, that's what I think of when I think of Earl. When you think of Eddie George, you think of incredibly consistent. In eight years with the franchise, he never missed a game. Seven 1,000-yard seasons, 74 touchdowns. In Houston or Memphis or Nashville, Eddie George set the standard of excellence. Oh man, he's he's a like hard nose. He wanted he wanted a presser. He want to come in there and he's going to run hard. He's been doing the same thing since he was at Ohio State. Coming to the league, him and Ray Lewis having those great battles. And I just used to love watching him play and play with him on Dreamcast. I used to run run people over on the Dreamcast game and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, he's a definitely a great player. Chris Johnson was definitely a great player. CJ had over a thousand yards rushing in each of his six seasons with the Titans. Johnson had six runs of 80 yards or more, and of course he rushed for over 2,000 yards in 2009, CJ2K. I felt like he touched the ball, he was going to score every time. Man, that's unbelievable at the NFL level. So yeah, he was, he was special like that. I'll never forget how quickly you knew that some, one of his handoffs was going to result in a touchdown. Uh, you know, some backs, you know, get through the first wave, then you've got to do a lot of work to still get to the end zone. Chris Johnson, if he had any crease at all, you knew he was gone. Derrick Henry has a 2,000-yard season of his own. That came in 2020. He's got the 1,000-yard seasons. He's got the long touchdown runs. He has embarrassed tacklers. The King has some Earl Campbell in him with the physicality. He looks a lot like Eddie George, only bigger. And while not as fast, he has CJ2K's breakaway ability. And, you know, Earl Campbell, you know, he's like a superhero, you know, watching him and hearing all the great stories about him growing up and then going to Eddie, somebody I looked up to, got to watch play and uh, admire very dearly. And then Chris Johnson, who just brought the game to another level whenever he touched foot to this organization and uh, the electric season that he had and all the, the great highlight moments, you know, it's um, you know, something that you know, really you can't, can't compare it to. But there's a lot of great tradition of backs that, you know, whenever I step on the field, that's the standard and something that, you know, hopefully I can live up to one day and be as great as those guys. These four backs have had the ability to carry the franchise. In the biggest moments, you could turn and hand each the football, understanding that they would use their unique skill set to help win the game. Earl Campbell, Eddie George, Chris Johnson, Derrick Henry. No other NFL franchise can claim four backs in the last 50 years who were as impactful. They are this organization's fabulous four.